Taking the evidence as a whole, I find that the impact of your ASD on your culpability is limited. I do not doubt that transferring to prison when you are an adult will be difficult. Prison is more difficult for those who are neurodiverse. Your behaviour in custody has been good so far, and it is clear from the pre-sentence report that there is a hope that you may one day be rehabilitated. You must continue to work towards that. I have weighed all the aggravating and mitigating factors that apply to each of you. Although I have taken the same starting point, I have concluded that the final minimum terms must be different. In Scarlett's case, the aggravating features are significant and would have led to a substantial uplift to the starting point, but for the mitigation, particularly that relating to maturity and mental disorder. There must still be an uplift, but it will be moderated. In Eddie's case, I find that the balance to be struck between aggravating factors, which are not quite as high as in Scarlett's case, and the mitigation I have identified, is such as to cancel each other out. In saying that, I have taken account of all the medical evidence and accept the diagnosis of ASD has some impact, but the extent to which it reduced your culpability in the circumstances of this offending is limited. This was undoubtedly a very serious offence with multiple aggravating factors. That is the context in which I impose minimum terms which are lengthy for offenders of your age, albeit significantly less than an equivalent sentence for an adult. The parole board will have to decide if and when either or both of you can be released. That will only happen if you no longer pose a danger. If you are released, you will remain on licence for life and you may be recalled to prison. I, I will now sentence each of you. You may remain seated. In both cases, the relevant statutory surcharge will apply. Scarlett Jenkinson, for the murder of Brianna Jai, you will be detained at His Majesty's pleasure. I set the minimum term at 22 years, less the 352 days that you have spent on remand. Eddie Radcliffe, for the murder of Brianna Jai, you will be detained at His Majesty's pleasure. I set the minimum term at 20 years, less the 352 days that you have spent on remand. <laughs>